Okay, where we're at is replacing the fuel filter on a on an 06 uh, 2006 Dyna Wide Glide. And uh, real quick, here's how uh, it kind of gets done. First, of course, you remove the uh, top plate, the uh, top plate of the tank, and that part is uh, is right here. You take 12 screws out of this part from the top of the tank and separate it. Also, uh, with those screws, here are the 12 screws, the old ones, you remove the old gasket and you will need to replace uh, both of all of these parts. Okay, uh, 06 wide glide uh, part, here's the new one. A little tough to read, but the part for the 06 wide glide top gasket is 75 248-04 75248-04 then you'll need or at least uh, eh? All right. you'll need uh, two sets of, of these screws forgotten I had to open them uh, they come in six packs um, appears to be uh, part number 1331 uh, alright that's just for the uh, That's just for replacing the top part and, and pieces that go with it. Now, as far as the the uh, fuel filter uh, goes, you'll need a part number six one zero one one zero four a six one zero one one zero four a. That's the fuel filter. Uh, it's called fuel filter kit with O-ring. All right, now let's get into it. And the 04, uh, 06, sorry, 06 wide glide. It's not a, it's not a solid canister, as you may have seen on other forms. It's actually a uh, fuel filter assembly. And here's the old one. I'm actually into it already. Here are the only parts that come with this kit. A new fuel filter. This is the old one, but I have the new one in. I'll get, I'll get to that. And and the ring. These are the only two parts that come with the kit. All right, inside the uh, inside the uh, tank, uh, depending on how well you can see, this main unit that you first initially see is actually held in place by this clip here, uh, and it clips onto the steel clip back here. This this uh, this clip uh, in the in the tank itself clips on. So what you do is you lift this up, lift it up, uh, and it slides forward. This entire assembly then slides forward. All right, and it's as you can now see, it's loose. A uh, second thing that needs to be done, uh, you may find this uh, this purple wire is actually uh, uh, located in a a catch. All right, right here. You'd want to pull that out and free it up just a little bit. All right so that when you separate this this piece here from the actual fuel filter canister uh, plastic assembly you have a little uh, freedom okay um, I've seen some other forums where also you can get the entire assembly out I haven't quite gotten to that point so I'm, I'm working with it at the, like it is <clears throat> secondly once this wire is out uh, you will which I've already removed you will find a a ring like so. Okay, this ring slides into the uh, it slides into the white canister here, and as you will inevitably see with your own, there are grooves. It slides in and it locks these two pieces together. It's like a locking ring, and I've I've seen it described that way. Uh, you'll see a groove in this part here so that when you slide the ring in through it slides into this groove and then you'll see it you'll see it exit out here so the ring will be completely through this both top and bottom this is the top that we see so in doing this um, I have it somewhat together but it's not going that smoothly I would, uh, it's it's actually tough to get these two parts together all right um, I've already placed the fuel filter inside 
I first placed it inside this uh, canister and I also pushed the new o-ring into the white canister as well so the o-ring and the, and, the, uh, and the filter itself are in the the white canister now it's just a fact of of getting these two back uh, back together and on this black unit here uh, there is a tab there's a tab here on the black unit and that tab it, it goes into this little um, groove here in the white uh, canister so you'd know that you're somewhat lined up and that uh, you know your fuel filter is going to mate uh, the holes on your fuel filter they they do right here's the filter holes on each side obviously they mate this uh, will 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 mate uh, the female of the filter will mate with the the male of the ma of the white canister and also there's a male on the uh, on this black unit so when they go together uh, it's in alignment uh, but getting these two back together it's a tight fit bottom line tight fits okay where we're at is just getting this ring in uh, I've pushed the this black unit as far back into the white uh, fuel filter canister as I can uh, it, it, it looks like it this wants to go through but I can't get it around I couldn't get it around this uh, this fuel line going down to the petcock that was in this unit so I actually removed it I pulled it out now I don't have that o-ring this o-ring right here um, but I'm going to put it back together nonetheless I do not have a service manual as uh, may be aware for those who do and know an easier way to deal with this to remove this unit to remove this uh, hose out of this unit these two what look to be two uh, two clips are pushed are squeezed you squeeze these squeeze these together reach in and squeeze them together and just start wiggling this outward and it will come out all right so where we're at right now is just getting this this ring, this locking ring, back in between uh, in, into this area here, uh, top and bottom, which is proven to be a little tricky, but maybe with this out of the way, that'll make it a little easier to do. Okay, we'll continue. Okay, so where we're at, having removed uh, most of the clips inside, I separated this uh, black clip from the uh, the other side of it, it's over here. I separated that to give myself a little bit more room. Things are a little bit more flexible here now. And I've inserted the uh, the filter onto the black unit with the O-ring tucked up here onto the uh, onto the uh, lip of the uh, insert. Uh, so it's clear. This is tight. This uh, new fuel filter fitting onto the uh, the male end of this uh, black unit here is exceedingly tight and so tight, as a matter of fact, that uh, it, it, it just would not go into this uh, this unit here at all willingly. Uh, certainly not while it's in the tank. Still wrestling a little bit with. Um, if this comes out or not and how that would happen without disassembling the entire thing uh, which we may still get down to but uh, it fits on this this the uh, uh, the filter definitely is tight so in that what I did was I used a pair of needle nose pliers uh, to simply put in the in the uh, female of the of the filter like so and I just kind of twisted them around, held the filter in my hand, and, and looked to open that this this opening just a little bit more, um, so that it wasn't so tight. And even still, putting it on, um, not quite sure where we're at as far as uh, how it's going to set up, but it was incredibly difficult. Um, that may be a slight exaggeration, not enough to break it. All right, but it was squeaking for sure, and and just very tight. So. Uh, bear that in mind in, uh, in getting this done. may have to wrestle around a little bit with that filter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
pull most of this out as far as I can get it so I can get my hands onto this uh, both of these units and look to mate them again and of course get this locking uh, pin uh, in between the both of them at which point it'll all go back in okay we'll continue all right where we're at now is having uh, gotten this pin into place between the two parts it was uh, while these pieces are in the tank you can expect to uh, do some work to get this pin um, back into place between these two parts both top and bottom make sure that the pin on the bottom side down there does not jump out and is not riding along the outside edge of the white uh, fuel filter canister um, it's got to be in that groove between the black and uh, in this there's a black groove here and it's got to be inside of it make sure that it is uh, it does take a little wrestling but can be done uh, now we'll just kind of push uh, put this back into position rewire up real quick and uh, will be good to go. This wire, remember this purple wire does have a little holding spot for it right here. Okay, we'll uh, wrap it up and continue with the uh, when it's all together. Okay, we're all back together. The uh, fuel filter is installed, the uh, clip, the lock clip between these two units is in. I've reconnected, uh, I've slipped the purple uh, line back into its retainer. I've reinserted the petcock fuel, uh, which took some pressure. You do have to kind of give it a good push till it locks back in again. And I've also reconnected uh, this connector, which um, disconnects by lifting up, slipping something underneath here, lifting up off that little clip and separating the two. Uh, this here, this clip connects to the actual uh, plate. <coughs> connects to the actual uh, canopy plate. I believe they call this a canopy, and uh, it can only connect really one way, as you can see. It only goes on one way. All right. So that's a fuel filter install. Not too bad. Could be worse. And uh, while we had the tank open, needed to do that. One of the reasons being that you have to replace this gasket this is the old gasket and uh, it needs to be replaced whenever that canopy piece comes off so with that in mind I, I picked up the filter kit and may as well got that out of the way so there's a nice fresh uh, filter in there this is the old filter and while it looks like it certainly could have gone quite a while longer um, it is dirty and the new one is, is nice and clean so that's that we'll continue all right, the tank is together. I'm leaving the uh, leaving the top loose until I'm sure that the uh, fuel injection system is together properly. Uh, once this is torqued down, uh, you'd need to rebuy the gasket, twenty dollars, screws, twenty dollars. Everything is expensive to uh, work on this, so. I've left this loose. I'll um, get it installed on the bike and uh, put a gallon or so in and check it and make sure it's not leaking anywhere. Uh, at this point, the the tank is now finished.